I am pleased to present our valedictorian, Hannah Cody. Hannah Cody grew up in Rochester, Minnesota with her mother, Lisa. Raised in a single parent household, she realized the importance of advocating for gender equity at an early age. Later, with the assistance of the Rollins Leadership Ally Program, Hannah was inspired to create the first gender studies major at Rollins College, an interdisciplinary program examining how gender and sexuality impact individuals and societies. She is graduating today summa cum laude as Rollins' first gender studies major. As a junior, Hannah was selected to represent Rollins in Washington, D.C. as an LGBT advocate fellow. During that summer, she served as a special projects intern with supporting and mentoring youth advocates and leaders, a nonprofit dedicated to empowering LGBTQ plus youth. She remained in D.C. for the following semester, where she studied international conflict resolution as a Dean Scholar at American University, interned at the United, State, United States Senate Foreign Relations Committee, traveled to Bosnia and Jordan, and conducted research on, women, on the women's rights movement in Kurdish Turkey. This research received an honorable mention for American University's Best Undergraduate Paper Award. Upon her return to Rollins, she was selected to serve as a wellness ambassador, a returning peer mentor, a research assistant, with the Department of Religion, a student advisor at the Lucy Cross Center, and a researcher through the Student Faculty Collaborative Scholarship Program. Her honors thesis on acquaintance rape, retaliation, and barriers to reporting is also nearing completion. During her time at Rollins, Hannah has also served as an immersion facilitator, community coordinator, and a member of the Student Affairs Student Advisory Committee. And now I present to you all, Hannah Cody, valedictorian. On behalf of the class of 2016, I would like to extend a warm welcome to the faculty, staff, administrators, and students of Rollins College, as well as the family, friends, and loved ones who have come from near and far to share in celebrating this momentous occasion. Just four years ago, we sat in these exact seats as faculty welcomed us into the Rollins community during convocation, and now, here we are, ready to walk across this stage to receive our diplomas. While they may look nearly identical, the meaning our diplomas carry and the memories they evoke will be different for each of us because they signify the unique marks that we have made on this place that for many has become a second home. Years from now, you may remember late nights spent in Olin, Greek week competitions, rehearsals and practices, service learning experiences, journeys abroad, celebrating the inauguration of our new president, and of course, sun-soaked Fox days. While you will be reminded of the good times and the bonds you have built, we will also never forget the people we lost too soon, the tragedies we have experienced, and the moments that we spent glued to television screens wondering why so much hate exists in a world filled with beauty and goodness. When we look at our diplomas, we will also remember this, our graduation day, and the bittersweet emotions felt, not only because we are here to celebrate our incredible accomplishments, but also because we are on the brink of stepping into an unscripted future. Many of us are excited for what the future may hold, but I would also like to acknowledge that I and many others may be feeling a little terrified because our next steps are not certain. We may feel that we are as close to attaining success as we are to experiencing failure. If there's one thought I would like to leave all of you with, however, it is that today is only the beginning. Role models are not built in a day, but rather develop out of struggles and the will to persevere in the face of adversity. 
as we spend the rest of this beautiful Mother's Day celebrating the women that have guided and supported us, I would like to invite each of you to ask them what has made them the inspirational people that we know now. I would venture to guess that every person in this room will give credit to the lessons learned from experiencing a time of hardship or uncertainty. Even these diplomas we are receiving were earned through our ability to overcome difficulty, to seek support, and to keep striving despite the odds. Each of us is a living testament to the progress that is possible when we propel ourselves into the unknown. As Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. During our Candlewish ceremony as first years, I wished that I would learn to overcome my fears and not be deterred by the things that pushed me out of my comfort zone. While I certainly have not mastered this skill, today I would wish the same thing for each of you as you continue to carve your own future and craft your own destiny. As you transition from college student to college graduate, I hope that wherever these next weeks, months, and years take you, that you will go forward with courage, compassion, and conviction. I hope you will embrace the unknown and define yourself not simply by the person you have been or are today, but by the individual you have the potential to become. Never forget, you are greatness in the making. In the inevitable moments when you may feel like who you are or what you do is not enough, I hope you remember the feeling of sitting in this room surrounded by the friends and mentors who will always believe in you, support you, and share in your failures just as much as your successes. While we will never be Rollins undergraduates again, we will always be TARS. Now, I encourage all of you to walk across this stage proudly to go into the unknown bravely, and in the words of radio host Garrison Keeler, be well, do good work, and keep in touch. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2016.